United are rumoured to be growing in confidence that they can conclude a deal for Hoyland amid murmurs of an imminent £65 million offer. With Harry Kane financially out of reach, the 20-year-old is Ten Hag's top striker target, and despite rival interest from Paris Saint-Germain, Hoyland reportedly only has eyes for Old Trafford. The same can be said for Amrabat, who starred for Morocco at last year's World Cup. The Fiorentina midfielder is thought to be attainable for £26 million, and he has made his intentions clear by reportedly snubbing an approach from Liverpool in favour of joining up with Ten Hag. United reportedly made contact with Japanese youngster Zion Suzuki, but the 20-year-old is believed to be reluctant to leave Urawa Red Diamonds for fear of hurting his status on the international stage, a move to Old Trafford would likely see Suzuki restricted to occasional appearances in cup competitions. Recent transfer activity suggests that the fourth and final move to complete Ten Hag's ambitious plan could be Benjamin Pavard. The Frenchman has less than a year to run on his Bayern Munich contract and he has no intention of signing a new deal. Sky Germany claim that United are in the race for Pavard along with Manchester City and Juventus, with senior figures at Bayern waiting for a concrete offer to land. Man United have decided their next four transfers as Eric Ten Hag's vision takes shape. Eric Ten Hag is keeping his foot on the gas ahead of his second season as Manchester United boss. Manchester United have already completed two major signings this summer. If Eric Ten Hag gets his way, Mason Mount and Andre Onana will be joined by four more new faces as the Red Devils boss prepares to kick his squad revamp up a notch. Mount is expected to bring a new dimension to United's midfield, while Onana is a straight replacement for David De Gea between the sticks. Splashing out on the duo has taken the club's summer spending north of £100 million. There could be plenty more in the pipeline. Ten Hag and company are rapidly closing in on two key targets, Rasmus Hoyland and Sofian Amrabat, and reports indicate that two others could follow before the win.